Steve, is there a sense of frustration perhaps after that result? A little bit of everything. I think we're frustrated that we, we give ourselves an opportunity in the second half, but probably frustrated that in the first half we started slowly. We did tell we toe in the water a little bit there and you know, I think once we found out it wasn't as cold as maybe we thought it was going to be, you know, we, we found our feet in the game. So plenty of areas for us to improve on and uh, you know, we look forward to next week's challenge in Melbourne. Darrell Goulding, first cap for England, but uh, probably not the result you were looking for. Uh, no, obviously I'd, I'd want a, a win off on my first game, but and obviously all the lads would, but it was a tough game. Though. We knew we expected that coming into the game and obviously we made it hard for ourselves at the time, but we can take some confidence for that and go into the Australia game quite confident. Yeah, I'm obviously very proud and when you know the national anthem being played are a bit nearly in tears, I think we're singing away, but yeah, it's a bit of um, bit of sweet really, obviously it's a, it's a nice feeling making your test debut and, and obviously over here in New Zealand against a very uh, well according to them one of the best New Zealand sides they've had for a long time, but yeah, like I say it's bittersweet and the bitterness really is the the sort of probably uh, it took us a little while to get into the game really and probably believe that we could win. It was always going to be important, I guess, to get that first try after the break when it was 12-0. Unfortunately, it went the other way. Yeah, it was a poor try to concede as well, a really poor try from a, from a scrum there. And, uh, you know, I think we, we, we could have done a whole lot better in that situation. Um, but, you know, yeah, I think the first try after half time, if we, if we could have took that one, you know, we managed to rescue some momentum there and score a couple of quick fire tries. And, <coughs> excuse me, another couple of opportunities possibly to score there, but... You know, as many chances as we miss with the ball, we miss some chances defensively to turn the screw as well. And you know, we need to get both aspects of our game together. Uh, yeah, second half we came out, and I think we did step it up second half. But like you said, they scored early and probably put us down a bit of that in, in the game. But we, we created chances and we came back into the game and probably just a couple of like one decision with Kev didn't go our way really. But we can't blame that. We we had chances, but we didn't take in the game. But like I said, I think we'll take confidence in the fact that we created them chances against the world champions really. Probably we, we showed a glimpse of what we can do in the second half and if we'd have been a little bit more consistent and done that on a raw regular basis we'd have probably applied more pressure and you know we did we did have opportunities like me making a break and Lockers made a break and passed to Shen in. We, you know we did create opportunities, we just we've got a little bit we've got I think we've got a little bit be a little bit more critical both defensively and with the ball. And it is a very young team and it's a team that's learning and growing together. Yeah it is and uh, the more it gets exposed to to this level the better it'll be um, but we want to be successful in this competition and for us to achieve that we know we need to improve uh, next week and uh, I'm sure we'll do that we're going to have to learn very quickly on the things that we're doing wrong and and probably have a you know, look at video and, and, and show the things we're doing right really because we were in the game and we looked like we could have could have got something if we you know, take the positives from it and sort of put that game to bed early doors and, and crack on and, and train hard this week you know you know, hopefully we'll be with a shot. Yeah, obviously we'll go to Melbourne. I think the lads will enjoy it to get in there and hopefully get a bit of sun and that before we play. And like I said, we'll have a week's training and hopefully we can we can do well with that and move into that game. And like I said, from that game, I think we can take a lot of confidence that we know that we belong here against this sort of opposition. Thomas, the first game was always going to be vital, and you Kiwi's got the win. Yeah, you know, it's a bit like that. It wasn't the most clinical performance, but you know, the win is the most important thing. Mm. Were you a little bit disappointed, perhaps, at half time, only 12 points ahead, given the amount of possession that you had? Yeah, I'm sure we weren't disappointed with the score, just just our own performance, you know, it wasn't mm. wasn't what we expected and you know we just you know we can play better than that, so you know we've got to be disappointed with that. It's a pretty young English side, you'll know a lot of the players obviously. Um, Sam Tompkins, uh, your Wigan teammate, how do you think he went? Yeah, he was good. He's always dangerous to me, so you know. Yeah. Now I think, you know, get a few more opportunities, you know, he's gonna set it to light, so yeah, I thought he played well. I thought big Stuart Fielding, I think you got one on you just after you got a kick away. Oh yeah, it's all part and parcel, you know. It's uh, you know, it was good. It was good, but I thought, you know, it was good. The game was played in good spirit, and it was a good game. What's the television on in Cyprus? Do you know? The television was on in Cyprus. They went to a um, yeah. They, she'd organised. She'd already organised the bar. Yes, she rang me up saying that the um, a Cyprus bar had opened up, especially for the the sixty to be in there. So we're all in there with the yellow t-shirts on, supporting us. And yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get you in.